Being likable in an interview could hurt your chances at getting the right job for you. In this video, we'll talk about being likable, what it means, and how you approach this in interviews. So stay tuned. So many people believe that being like likable in an interview is the most important thing to land the job that you want. And while I understand this, and I've even said this myself in the past, being likable to the wrong people could hurt your chances of getting the right position for you. I understand why you might believe that being likable to everyone is ultimately the goal. However, that's not actually possible. It's not possible for everyone to like you. So the best policy is to just be the best you that you can be. And if they like you, great. And if they don't like you, then that's equally great. And here is why. If someone doesn't like you, it has nothing to do with you. If someone doesn't like you, if they don't pick you for the job, or if they don't pick you for the project or whatever it is, it doesn't mean that it's anything about you. So it doesn't actually mean anything about you as a person. What does it mean when someone likes you? Does it mean you're likable only if someone else likes you? It's very interesting to think about. There is a famous saying, and it goes like this. You can be the juiciest, most beautiful orange, but there's always gonna be someone that doesn't like oranges. We don't blame the orange, do we? <laughs> if someone doesn't like an orange, we don't say, ah, oh, it's that orange's fault because it's not good enough. The orange is not good enough. We actually don't blame the person. We don't hold it against them that they don't like oranges. It's okay that they don't like oranges. It doesn't say anything about the orange itself. It says something about the person that they don't like oranges. So think about yourself for a second. Maybe you're just not their flavor. Maybe you're just not their style or their preference. The orange doesn't get upset because someone doesn't like it. It just keeps being an orange. Show up as yourself because that's inevitable anyway. So for example, if I show up as me and I am me throughout the entire interview, the people are going to like me will really like me. They don't like some version of me that I'm creating in order to be more likable. So I'm not going to be smiling on purpose, like, like forced smiling. And I'm not going to be laughing at things that I don't think are funny. Because if you do that in the interview, then I'm going to have to do that throughout the entire time that I'm employed with this company. And if that's not me in the first place, then I'm going to end up unhappy in that role. And I'm really going to wish that I was myself from the beginning. It's kind of like dating. So I don't want you to have to have like an interview version of yourself and then have like a off duty version of yourself, because that would be a lot of work to keep up with. And it would end up you being unhappy because you are putting on a mask. What good is more likable version of you anyway? What are you doing that for anyway? So if say I told you some ways to be more likable, which is probably why you're watching this video. And I said, you know, compliment people more, smile more, laugh more. In fact, here's a list. Be positive, control your insecurities, provide value, eliminate judgments, be a person of conviction. If you are not those things at heart, then it won't come across naturally anyways. So if you are working on things for yourself, like make sure you want to work on those things for yourself anyway. Make sure you want to be less judgmental and you're not doing it just so someone will like you more or you'll make someone else like you. Because in the end, there's always gonna be someone who doesn't like oranges and that's okay. If you wanna learn more about my strategies that my students are getting to see explosive salary growth in their first year, communicate their value in interviews, then click below to get my ultimate situational behavioral interview guide where you're gonna get 10 concrete example answers of how to answer behavioral interview questions. And we all know that these come up in almost every interview. You're gonna get fill in the blank templates for how to answer the questions so you can practice your own answers. And if you get confused or if you get a little bit stuck, I've given you 25 questions that you can ask yourself to help come up with your own story answers. So this is really going to help you become super confident in the interviews that you go into. And you're not going to worry about whether or not someone likes you or not, because if they do great, and if they don't equally great. So you can grab that by clicking the link below and getting started with me. And if you want to watch some more videos from me, you can click the link right here. If you want to watch more videos in the series, 
you can click here and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye. So be yourself is such cliche advice, but ultimately it's what we all need to do. And I think it was peaches. I think it's, there's always someone who doesn't like peaches.